So I'm going to do something to the project truck that has been recommended by numerous people. It's something I've thought about doing, haven't been able to get anywhere to get the darn stuff. But we got rained out of the field a little while ago, so I ran and got some sea foam. Oh yes, we are going to do a sea foam treatment on the project truck. I pulled a sensor out of the lower intake. It is the air temperature sensor. I can't remember the exact name of it. But I pulled that out and it was rather, uh, it was rather ugly. It uh, had a lot of carbon on it, crusty, was not in good shape. And also with the vibration, I am more and more convinced it may be a fuel related or spark related thing going on. It's not throwing any codes like I would think a misfire would, but there's something going on. Sea foam certainly isn't going to hurt. So first I need to move these out of the way set them over here. Open the hood up on the project truck. Still haven't decided what to name this thing. I'm, I'm kind of thinking just simple Eddie. And we are going to treat this with some of this. For those of you not familiar on the sea foam treatment, I'm going to show you how to do it on the project truck. It's pretty much the same way with any vehicle and we'll see what happens. I'm anticipating nothing. It's probably not going to run any better, but I don't think it's going to run any worse. And there's always that small chance that maybe it'll run better. I put half a tank of fuel in this in the rear tank and I'm going to dump one full can of sea foam in that tank. At least I may do more than that. I'm gonna give it two treatments of the sea foam where you put it in, where you let it suck it up through, well, I'm gonna use the brake booster hose, vacuum hose. I did this to my green truck not very long ago. Well, it's been a couple of years, but I did this and it didn't do hardly anything. You see all these videos where they do the sea foam treatment and it's just a cloud of white smoke forever, it seems. Green truck didn't do that, but we'll see what the project truck does. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open one of these suckers up and stick it in the gas tank. A little, little dark back here on this uh, side of the truck, but we're gonna dump this. Whoop, I guess I gotta take the fuel cap off. And a little flapper piece in there. I think it's still in there, but it doesn't doesn't spring back like it should. This is going in the gas tank. Probably should put that in the fuel when you're putting fuel in it, but uh I don't have that luxury right now. So I'm gonna start the truck up. I'm gonna just rock it back and forth, shake it around a little bit and let it sit here and warm up. So I started it up. I went back and forth, back and forth, shook up the fuel a little bit, let it slosh around in the tank. Get that good old sea foam all mixed up with the fuel that's in there. Strange thing with the project truck, and I know I've mentioned this in a video or two, that this vibration thing, it comes and goes. This morning when I drove it, it had a pretty bad vibration to it. Drove it home tonight, nothing. Smooth as silk. And the more I drive it, the more I'm really starting to be convinced it has something to do with fuel or spark. Combustion in, uh, in other terms. Another thing I do want to do, I just couldn't do it right now, was I do want to put new plug wires on it. Also want to get a new coolant temp sensor. But for now, tonight, we are doing the seafoam thing. So I'm just gonna let the truck sit here and warm up. It's my understanding that you are supposed to have it up to operating temperature when you do this. So I'm gonna let it sit here and warm up a bit and then I'll bring you back in. A few moments later. So you wanna take your booster vacuum hose off so you can feed some sea foam through that line. like that. You want to put about half a can of sea foam into this which goes into your intake but you don't want to kill the engine. So you just slowly pour some into this.
basically just let it suck it into it. Then after you get about half of the can put through there, you shut the engine off and you let it sit for at least 20 minutes. And you probably can't tell on here, but I could certainly smell it and I can see it now that it's getting rather, uh, it's a little foggy in here. Probably doesn't look like it on camera, but I can definitely see it in the air. I really need to get this tailgate taken down. So I'm gonna let that sit and after about 20 minutes or so, we'll fire it up. We'll see what happens. Well, it's been 20 minutes. Let's see if we have this epic smoke show like we see on all these other videos. What do you want? What are you doing? Hey, what's up? All right, let's start this truck. Let's get this can off of here first. We'll start it up and uh, we'll see if it smokes us out like everybody else's videos do. I will have to say, when I was running it earlier, putting the seafoam into the vacuum hose smelled like firecrackers. So we'll see what happens here. And you probably can't see it on camera. There's a little bit of smoke coming out, not much. Let me rev it up. Oh yeah, it's smoking. I might need to uh, turn a fan on here to blow it out of the shop, but it's definitely blowing some smoke. Need to get this fan set up here. Don't want my whole shop being smoked out. That should help. I'm gonna rev it up some more and uh, see what happens. Stinks, that's for sure. It's yeah, it's uh, it's rather smoky in here. Now, whether that's actually carbon being burned off or just the sea foam itself. I don't know. Well, it's a little foggy in here. I got that fan going. I got that fan going. I got another fan going over here. Can't really tell it's running any different throttle response. Actually, maybe a little bit better. I'm gonna run another cycle through it. Okay, round number two. We're ready to start this thing up again. So I'm gonna set you up on the tripod here and we'll fire it up, see what she does.
done with round number two. I'm gonna hit it with round number three. I don't know if I would recommend doing this with your truck, but project truck, I'm gonna do it. All right, so I've done the third treatment on the old uh, project truck here, and I don't have any seafoam left, so this is gonna be it. Let's see what she does. Well, I ran three cycles of sea foam through the project truck, and it does seem to have a little better throttle response. It doesn't seem to have that lag when I hit the gas and the RPM go up. It seems to be a little more responsive there. I actually wish I had more sea foam. I'd run it right through that thing. It doesn't seem to have hurt it any. Not sure it did a whole lot of good, but I do have a can and a half in the gas tank of this thing. So we'll see what it does in the next day or two. Right now, I'm gonna go up to the house. I'm gonna get something to eat. I'm hungry. I'll probably continue this video tomorrow and uh, and we'll carry on from there. Well, we've been back out in the field since I did the sea foam thing. Haven't really had time to be doing much of anything else. We've only got about two, maybe three loads left here, and then and then Harvest 2017 is in the books. However, the combine wasn't going to make it. It was running on fumes, so we had to have some fuel delivered. But as far as the whole seafoam thing, I don't believe it really did a whole lot. It made a lot of smoke. The truck might be starting a little bit easier, and like I keep saying every video, the vibration, it it comes and goes. Last night driving at home, smooth as could be. I even drove it a couple extra miles just to uh, just to be sure, but the vibration wasn't there. However, this morning it was there a little bit. So once we get out of the field, well, I do have something else going on, but I am going to drive that truck and see if I can't drive it out of it. So is seafoam worth it? Well, it can't hurt. I ran seafoam through my green truck a lot over the years, just through the fuel. Don't think it hurts anything. Is it worth the money? I don't know. Didn't fix anything in this case, but I don't think it did any harm. So like I said, I do have something else in the works, and also we'll get back to some regular truck stuff. There probably will be a few more farm-type videos coming up as we're going to be putting on anhydrous here in another month or so. So not sure how long this video is. It may have ended up being kind of short. But give it a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.